When was the last time you had breakfast with Jesus? Rise up. This is Father Jonathan Meyer. We're in the midst of getting ready for the Feast of Pentecost this upcoming Sunday. It's Friday. And uh, do you know where the word breakfast comes from? So break it down, people. Break fast. Break fast. Break fast means it's the first time that you eat after you've been fasting. So normally refer to that then as like your first meal of the day, right? For us as Roman Catholics, prior to the Second Vatican Council, the one had to fast from midnight onward. This is why the Catholic Church, often people would go to Mass at 6.30 in the morning on a Sunday. 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday. That's why early, early morning Masses were really popular for Catholics, because if you wanted to receive Holy Communion, you needed to not eat anything. So like having an 11 o'clock Mass or a 12 o'clock Mass or a 1 o'clock Mass or a Sunday evening Mass was impossible. I mean, you could have it, but nobody could receive communion. This is why midnight Mass was a really big deal because you could actually, following liturgical law, you could actually eat while walking into Mass because the, the law was the fact that you, it wasn't, you had to fast an hour before Holy Communion it was like you had, an hour, you had to fast from 12 o'clock midnight on. So things have changed, of course, since then. It's now fasting an hour prior to the reception of Holy Communion. I don't want to get into the debate on whether that was a good decision or whether it should be more than an hour, but our gospel passage today says, after Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, breakfast with them, He said to Simon Peter, if you are keeping the Eucharistic fast, that does mean that you are having break break fast with Jesus. Because if you're receiving Holy Communion, that does mean that you are fasting. And you break your fast for what? For Jesus. Here's Peter, first pope, and he's having break fast with Jesus. We have the opportunity at Holy Mass to have break fast with Jesus, to break our fast. And what breaks our fast? His body and his blood, his soul and divinity. And then what's the first thing that Jesus says to Peter after he breaks his fast? Peter, do you love me? What does Jesus say to you when you receive his body, blood, his soul and divinity? Cindy, do you love me? James, do you love me? Do you love me? Thomas, do you love me? David, do you love me? Sue, do you love me? Do you love me? I believe that today's biblical passage, John 21, 15 through 19, is a beautiful post-communion reflection. Do you love me? And then, after, of course, Peter responds, Jesus says, then go feed my sheep, go tend my lambs. The response to loving Jesus is then service. The response to loving Jesus is then service. If I love you, Jesus, in the Blessed Sacrament, then I need to go and do something. If I receive you in Holy Communion, I need to go and do something. If I worship you, Jesus, I need to go and be your hands and your feet. Let's pray for that grace today that our breaking of our fast may lead us closer and closer to the intimacy of God. I encourage you to Pray, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. Allow your faith to be transformative, particularly as we prepare for Pentecost tomorrow evening.